our best. So let's just reach around. The key thing here with this, just make sure you keep those tummy muscles pulled in really nice and tight for me. And what I'm doing here is I'm really helping to tone through your waist. And again, really focus, belly button, tight to the spine. That's good. And just make sure you take those hands far enough around. All right, your next move, this one, you need to be lying on your back. I'm going to show two variations. You can do it where you bring your hands in onto your knees and then you extend or just do a basic ab crunch. We're just going to go 15 reps. That's good. So again with this one, keep your tummy tight. I know a few of you said last ab session was really hard, so I wanted to just show you some variations if you found it too much on the neck. This one is tough because we're taking the arms and legs away, so we're really challenging through those abs. Okay, just keep that going. Well done. All right, so your next move, straight legs up in the air, tummy tight, palms face up, and all you're going to do is lower one leg and down to the ground and then the other. If you find that too hard, do it with a bent leg. We're just doing 10 reps. The key thing is, as you take that leg down to the ground and as you draw it up, really draw your navel tight down to your spine. So we'll work more into the deepest abdominal muscle called your transverse abdominus. And again, this is quite advanced, so if you want to, just follow me. Okay, so round two, you know what we're doing, we're doing exactly the same. You want to start in that seated position for me and just have the knees bent. The further you lean back, the harder you are working. So let's get ready. We're going to go for doing 20 reps. So take your fingertips around to one side, then straight to the other. And as I said, if you want to really up the intensity on this one, lean further back. And also, if you want to make it even harder, you can slightly lift your heels off the floor, but you have to make sure you've got really good strong control of your abs and if you feel anything in your back then stop. So your next one, lie down on your back, have your hands on your knees, head lifted off the floor and then we're just going to extend your arms and legs away for 15 reps. If you find this too much on the neck, just go for doing a basic crunch as I'm doing in the left hand corner. And remember, if you don't like doing these seated and floor abs, I will always leave a description, a link rather in the description box for my standing ab workout. So we're nearly done. Let's just go for a couple more on there. Tummy stays tight. Extend those arms and legs away. All right. So let's now go to those single leg heel down, drop downs, whatever you want to call them. Key thing with this, just make sure you're lying down now. Make sure you've got palms and legs up. You've even got a straight leg. Lower it down to the ground or do it with a bent leg. So we're working with a shorter lever, which just makes that a little bit easier. So tummy stays tight. It's a quick workout today. And remember, most important thing, if you want to work on those abs, we don't want to even tone them so much, but I've got some rubbish. I'm never going to show. Okay, but let's go back to your seated position. Tummy is tight, knees bent, heels on the floor. Let's get ready and let's take those hands around from one side straight to the other. Good. So we're just doing 20 reps. Really feel that working through the waist for me. Doing really well. Good. Reaching around. And there have been crates today. I've just not had a chance to read them. So just do this video again. You can have a look at those little crates. All right. So your next one, let's go to those hands and knees. So coming down on the ground, then just place your hands on your knees. Both your arms and legs are awake. Keep the tummy muscles pulled in as tight as you can. But you're just doing 15 reps. That's good. Draw it in and back. And remember, if you feel any strain in the neck, you can always change. Do what I'm doing in the left. Just go for doing a basic crunch. That's good. Up. Well done. All right. Nearly there. Last time of these today. That's good. And let's get ready now. Let's just take it straight and leg drop. So you've got the legs extended straight up, palms facing up so you don't put any pressure through the hands. So it means we're doing all those work on the abs. It's really important here. Just imagine you're all pulling your belly button as tight down to your spine as you can for me. Keep that going. You can do it, the harder one, with a straight leg. If you want to make it a little bit easier, just do it with that bent leg. And we're nearly done. That's good. Keeping that focus. Perfect. So well done. That is your workout done today. So remember, as I said to you, four abs. And what's a really good idea now, just stay on the floor for me and just stretch your arms above your head and point your toes away. Just try and make yourself as long as you can. That just gives you a lovely stretch through your waist. Today we've worked with your major abdominal muscle groups. We've worked all three of them. We've worked your waist, your transversus, and your rectus. So, you know, See you next. Yes. Workouts. Oh.